I feel crazy talking to myself. Ugh. Hello, my name is Brooke Simpson and this is my journey through ECS 110. So when I first signed up for this class, I had no idea what we would be talking about. I didn't know any of the concepts or anything. And I was so surprised that we learned about so many different things and we touched on so many different concepts. This class made me really think differently about myself and others that are in the world around me. It has pushed me to think in different ways and has made me feel uncomfortable at some times, but has now made me grow as a student and as a future educator. Throughout the course, we talked a lot about white privilege and how white privilege affects not only us, but other people in the world. I hadn't really thought a lot about white privilege um, until this past year university, and then this class really opened my eyes to it. I knew that I was privileged because obviously I'm white, but I had never thought about it in a way that this class made me think about it. So I am someone who falls into the category of the normative narrative of I'm not privileged because I've had hard times in my life. Well, everyone's had hard times in their life. We can't take away our privilege and make ourselves blind to that because we have had struggles. Everyone has struggles and we do have white privilege and it's important for us to recognize that. Our very first week of reading, I'm pretty sure it was the very first week, um, we read Peggy McIntosh's article and it was called Unpacking the Invisible Knapsack. And this article really opened my eyes uh, and made me realize um, a lot about white privilege. And that's what kind of got the ball rolling for me. It made me really open my eyes to see the world in that way and see how people use their white privilege in positive and negative ways. And I've noticed now, I notice it a lot more when I go out to places and I see people using their white privilege. And then it dawns on me, I'm like, hey, they're doing that. And this class has done a lot of that for me. Um, another way it's made me think in that way is when my sister is pregnant and I really started to notice this idea of gender and what gender means. And I really noticed it when she found out that she was pregnant because uh, my mom and I were talking about, oh, where should we get the baby? Like, and we've been looking at clothes and everything like that. Um, my mom was thinking, well, like, I don't know what color to get. Because if it's a girl, I need to get pink, and if it's a boy, I need to get blue. Uh, no. This has really opened my eyes to help my mother think about this in a different way and realize that she doesn't need to fall back into those stereotypes and that she needs to open her uh, way of thinking as well. This class really allowed me to come out of my comfort zone. Um, I'm usually the person who just sits and observes and doesn't chime in and I just listen to what everybody else has to say. And I do this because I'm so afraid of saying something stupid or saying the wrong thing and everyone's like, Brooke, why'd you say that? Like, that makes no sense. So I'm so afraid of that happening that I usually don't participate because I'm like, meh, I'll just save myself the trouble. Um, but this class really um, helped break down that wall for me um, with the breakout rooms and just being able to talk to different people, people who don't know me because in Arts Ed we pretty much all know each other. Now I feel comfortable with my colleagues and I am able to um, chime in and know that I have what I have to say is important. Another thing um, with this class is it made me feel uncomfortable at times, which I'm sure that's what it was supposed to do. Audrey always said, embrace that feeling. If we were talking about something and I was like, why are we talking about this? Or I don't know if that's right. That's what it was supposed to do. And it, I realize that now. And it's, that's such a great way of thinking and such a good idea of embracing that feeling. I really like that. And even though sometimes I was unsure how I was supposed to answer or how I should answer, it was really good to know that I should just embrace that feeling. And I should think about why am I feeling that way? What is making me feel uncomfortable? Even though I was unable to touch on everything that we learned over this course, the ones that were most important to me that I found will impact me as a future teacher. I'm very happy that I took this class. It gave me a new set of eyes to look at the world from. And I would like to just thank you all for this and thanks for the wonderful semester. Future Brooke, you are going to hate editing this. <laughs>